Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We're going to continue on with our Bootstrap basic series here. Yesterday we created this photo strip. We're going to finish off the About page today. I'm just going to put another section in here with four text columns uh, with the text justified. Actually three columns we're going to make. So let's get started. If you've been following along, you'll know that we created this site from scratch and we created our index.html for our home page and our about.html for the page we're looking at here, our about page. We've got a folder with the images that we've been using in there. And we've got a custom style sheet, a CSS style sheet that we created to style our site. So I'm going to open the about.html file today in a text editor. I'm using the brackets text editor. If you don't have a text editor, brackets is absolutely free and you can download it from a link below this video and it's got some great features. But if you've got a text editor, any text editor will do. So here we are in our about HTML. I've also got our custom CSS open here and our index.html. We'll just be working with these two today. So. Let's go down to where we left off and just above the footer I'm going to create another section. Let's get rid of that gap there. Okay. I'm going to give this section a class of blue because I want to have that blue, dark blue, black ground, dark blue background, I should say. BLU. Okay, what do we want inside this section? We're going to want a container because I don't want it to be full width. So let's put a div with a class of container. And inside that container, what do we want? Well, we're going to want a row with three columns in it. I don't know if you've been following along, but we made a, a row with four columns in it earlier on. But we're going to make a three column row this time with some text that's justified. So within our container, we want to create a row. Div of the class equals row. And within our, within our row, we're going to want three columns. I'm just going to do the one for the moment and then we'll copy it over when we've decided we've got it looking like we want it. So inside here, let's create another div and it's going to have a class. And I bet you can guess what that is if you've been following along. It's going to be column, medium, Four. Now, as we said many times before, Bootstrap's made up of 12 equal units, the viewable area. So if you want three columns, you've got to divide 12 by three, which is four. That's why we've got a column of mid four there. If you want to learn more about columns, I've got a whole video dedicated to that. And you can watch it from a link down below also if you're interested. Okay, within our column, what do we want? I want a heading, a sort of smaller heading, probably H3. H for heading, three. Headings go from H1 to H6. H1 being the largest usually, and H6 being the smallest by default. Of course, you can make them any size you want using CSS. So I'll just put H3 in there. And let's say laptops. And we'll put a paragraph underneath there. And let's grab a bit of dummy text and just plop it in there. Okay, so we've created a section. We've given it the name of blue or the class of blue. And within that section is a container 
and there's a row there at the moment with just one column with an h3 title and a paragraph title so we can go and have a look at that at the moment it's not going to look real interesting so let's save and see what we got control s let's go back to the site move that folder out of the way we don't need it and refresh there we go we've got here's our section you can't really see where it starts from the old section because they're both white but there's our first column and it's justified left as you can see there's our heading that we we created a bit of style for our h3s when we did these up here so what I want to do is I want to turn this section blue and if I do that that's going to disappear because it's going to be that color blue so we want to turn that white and we want to make all of our text white I also want to justify the text and I want to align that particular piece of text center so let's go ahead and do that so first thing I do is I want to turn this section blue and it's got a class of blue so let's go to our custom CSS and start a new little title section at the bottom wherever it was we left off yesterday from our gallery we'll give it a title again and I'm going to give it the title of blue section we might want another blue section in the other pages so we can use the same similar CSS for it okay so if we look at our about case that class we gave it was blue blu so it's class dot blu and what do we want I just want that to have a black background color or blue and the color blue we're using I think that's it right there there we are so I can just copy that bit of hex code right there okay so our blue section should now have a blue background if I save that we'll look at back at the site when I refresh this section should go blue you won't be able to see that very well because it's dark on dark and that will completely disappear because it's exactly the same color let's refresh there we go and I don't know if you can see that text in there but it is actually there so we want to make our text so we can see it and if we look back at our custom CSS here our h3 we actually made that blue color we got typography at the top here and if I go down to where the typography is if I can find it there it is right at the top typography there's our h3 and we've given it the color of blue mainly so we need to really do a new one like we did with the h2 a white version so what I'm going to do is I'll go back down to where we were and I'm going to create a class of h3w dot for a class h3w it doesn't matter what you call it just remember what you call it and make it unique make sure nothing else is called that as well okay there's our H double and what do we want we want the color to be white which is FFF simple now we just need to apply that class to our h3 title so I'm going to save this control s we'll go back to our HTML here's our h3 so I need to give it the class equals h3w there we go now when I save that and go back to the site our title laptops should be white control s 
Let's return to the site and refresh. There it is, fantastic. Okay, we need to make this other text white or light as well. Go back, and we can do that by just giving it a class of text light. In fact, if I give that to our whole row here, everything within this row will have light text. Okay, so that should turn our text white. So we've now got our laptops title text white and we should have our paragraph text light. Now what I also want to do is I want to my laptops to be justified center so it will be text center and that will put that in the center of the column and our paragraph text here I want that to be justified so let's say text actually before we justify that let's just save and see what we've got all our text should be white now and our laptop title should be centered control s let's go back to the site refresh there we go as you can see our text is all white now and our title is centralized fantastic now we also want to justify this text and I also want some space between the top of this section, the blue section, and where this actually starts. And we created a CSS class that we've been using of gap 100, which puts a 70 pixel spacer top and bottom of a section. So let's add that to the section for space and we'll justify that text also. Let's go back. Okay, and we can just simply put um, our GAT100 on the container. We could put it on the section, it doesn't matter. There's our GAT100. And all this CSS I use today, I'll put down below so you don't have to copy it while I'm doing it. I'm going to put it on the container right there. I've got too much gap on my gap. Okay, there's the gap 100. Text light. What else do we want to do? We wanted to justify this this paragraph text here. So we'll give it the class equals text justify. Save that. Control S back to the site. And now let's see what we've got. Should now, when I refresh, have a nice 70 pixel gap top and bottom and our paragraph text should be justified there we have it our laptops our title is now centralized and our paragraph text is justified so I'm happy with that I'm gonna do our next three or I should say our next two so we've got three in total if we just go back and of course to do this all I'm going to do is take the row, the column mid four column with div with brackets when you highlight the opening div it'll highlight the closing div for you so you can see what section you need to copy so I'm going to copy from opening column div to closing column div control C drop down one there's number two drop down one there's number three I'm just going to change out the title there we go, laptops, desktops, and let's say servers. And that should do it. Let's save that. Control S to save. Back to our site. And refresh. And there we have it. There's our three little paragraphs justified text centralized text h3 and paragraph text I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of padding around each of these um, so they've just got a little bit more breathing space so let's go back and we're about done 
let's give each of these columns a class of about text so I'll call it ATX short for about text now I want these on each column this class there we go now let's save that control s go to our custom CSS and just add that class class so what do we start with a period or a dot about text ATX and all I want to do is give that some padding of 25 pixels with one entry like that it'll give it 25 pixels padding on all sides top right bottom and left semicolon save and I think we should be done let's go back to our site and refresh one more time and there we have it as you can see they've got a little bit more space around them and because we put a bit of padding in there it's forced them to be a bit deeper that's absolutely fine so I think we'll call that a day with this about us page and we'll move on to the next one pricing in the next video so there you have it there's how to make three columns of justified text with a few titles I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day